made this production possible. We understand that none of this could have come together as beautifully as it had um, without your contributions. And so just as a token of our appreciation uh, for just doing what you love to do and uh, dedicating countless hours and Jenny, your patience, your kindness, Amen. your love, your direction, um, especially your crafty ability to let artists be artists and at the same time have us present the vision that you saw for the show. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle, for your patience um, with us. Because I know there was a time where, you know, we were in the final hour and it was like, okay, what is going to happen? You know, but, but so definitely thank you for just uh, continue just just love on us and just helping us feel comfortable as we push through um, some challenging times. Um, so I wanted, well, we all collectively wanted to uh, just give the team a token of our appreciation for what you've done. Um, does anyone want to say anything before we present? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> because I just turned my head and Greg didn't give me eye contact. <laughs> you did. I don't know better. <laughs> I'll say something. Um, being a part of this production has been a true honor and um, just to say something about uh, the way that people are referring to collective consciousness as a, uh, a community theater, I just want to address that I feel that um, the theater of collective consciousness is, is a theater that makes work for a community. Yeah. but is um, there's a certain connotation when someone says that you're a community theater. And, and I would say, um, first of all, I, I run my own theater in town. I'm honored to be a part of Collective Consciousness. I run a Broken Umbrella Theater. And, um, and with, uh, with New Haven Theater Company, with Collective Consciousness, with Bergamos, um, there is, I spent several years in Chicago. And in Chicago, there are 500, theaters that are in comparable size to collective consciousness. And the thing about Chicago theater, which is very well respected in the entire country, is that they don't think of the smaller theaters as community theater, they think of the smaller theaters as small professional theaters. And, and I would say that collective consciousness stands toe to toe with any theater, um, not only in Connecticut, but in Chicago, in any major city, doing the kind of work that a city should be honored to to have and um and so though collective consciousness has a pure vision to serve a particular community and to get the word out to the larger community i would say that collective consciousness is the strongest small professional theater that connecticut has yet to see Yeah, I'd, I'd like to piggyback on that myself, uh, speaking for me being the oldest here. I've been involved in theater for a lot of years, so I've experienced a lot of community theater, I've experienced a lot of professional theater, and it was my honor just to be involved with this, this collective group here. I mean, we're talking talent up the yin-yang. And believe me, I've worked with a lot of different people, but the way that you're treated here is, is it's unheard of. You know, and, and I remember when I first got to the first rehearsal, I was thinking, wow, this seems so odd. I'm not used to being treated this way. I mean, they, they respect your art, they respect what you bring, and they allow you to express what you have. And uh, believe me, with my experience, and again, I, I'm only speaking from my own experience, that that doesn't happen all the time. Even at the professional level, there's a lot of bickering that goes on behind the scenes. You hear about different things, but this is really about love for the art and for a purpose. And we all have a purpose in life, and I'm glad that I'm helping to serve the purpose that they present. And I'm just happy to be a part of it, and I hope uh, they'll ask me back to come and be another show. You know? But it's been my honor. Thank you to all the people that are involved, board members, right on down to whoever else, even the audience member that came. Uh, we appreciate you uh, 100%. Thank you. Anybody else? <laughs> right, I'll say I guess I'll say something. Um, yeah, you got your the the one quote the one quote that comes to mind when I think of collective consciousness theater is attitude reflects leadership. So a lot of times we've gone through this process and this process is extremely humbling to have the leadership from Jenny, from Michelle, and then to have a team that 
is grounded in love. So each rehearsal, every practice, every critique that we received, everything came in love. And when you and when you have that kind of presence or that kind of ambiance, you're able to move forward. So I am blessed to have such a phenomenal cast that I am a part of. I am blessed to be part of um, a production under an amazing leader. And I am blessed to have a role in something that I think is much larger than that, which is a message that resonates with the people in it. And not only in Connecticut, but all over, especially with the state of our country. So I am honored to be born and raised in New Haven, to be on this stage with people from Connecticut who are just as talented, if not more so than anyone in LA, New York, Chicago, Florida, you know, there's a lot of talent here. So I just thank you guys for coming out and supporting. I guess I'll speak. <laughs> um, I am a man of few words, as these people here know. Um, but I, I do want to say um, thank you, Jenny, um, because during this production, I doubted myself a lot. Um, yeah. Um, so there are times where after a performance, I would beat myself over the head like that wasn't really good. You can do better. Um, and same thing with Michelle. Um, and though these two women have definitely uh, been so kind to me, definitely been kind to me because a lot of productions that you're in, the directors or the associate directors, whoever's in leadership, isn't really that that understanding, isn't really that, you know, they really don't take their time with you. And it's not fake or phony, it's very genuine. Um, you guys have pulled so much out of me being an actor. Um, a lot of new discoveries for myself, uh, Michelle, you know, learning the choreography. <laughs> we had numerous talks about it. I so said, I'm never gonna get this choreography. <laughs> but um, she worked with me and um, as well as, you know, Jenny just, um, speaking speaking into my, my ear and, and definitely telling me, you know, you are born for this, you can definitely do it. Um, my my fellow cast members, I, I couldn't have done this without them. Um, this is ensemble piece, of course, and every person on the stage every night gave it their all, left everything out on the stage, um, and they've lifted me up when nights where I was feeling bad or I was feeling sick. Um, so I, I definitely appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, and even, you know, collective consciousness, um, this is a strong, strong theater company, very strong theater company. Um, and this has been one of the best productions that I've worked with to date. Um, and I'm just so honored to be with this cast and the director and even the, you know, the stage managers. Um, Beta Fish, she kept me on my toes. And yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's Emily um, and Ashley, they all kept me on my toes. Um, so I'm, I'm just appreciative. I'm appreciative of Carol. She had us all looking fly. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, she had us all looking fly. Um, but to, to end it all, um, I'm appreciative of you guys coming out and seeing us. Because you didn't have to, to be honest. You didn't have to come see us and support us. But I definitely do appreciate it. And I'm sure we can all say we all appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you. All right. Without further ado, I'll be, I'll be really quickly on this. So um, first, we'll, we want to say thank you to uh, the set design champ, David Sepulveda. Oh and so you got to come up here and get your medal. And I will say, I'm a, I'm a designer. I know you contributed. And we will, I, will, I promise you, you will have one as well. So thank you. We truly appreciate it. OK? There you go. There you go. Thank you. The next person who uh, deserves a medal for not only this theater, but virtually every theater you've ever seen in Connecticut, if there is a light on in the state, Jamie Burnett has hung it, balled it, designed it, and made it. So can you please come up here, you never so talented man of the theater. Thank you so much for Oh, someone good, yeah, I'm talking. Put, put this on his neck. This man made us all beautiful. Because life fixes everything.
And the next person is choreography champ, the best choreographer ever, yeah. Michelle Warner. Yeah. 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 And, and next contendant we are going to award is uh, for the best costumes in this production, any production I've ever seen, authentic costumes, yours truly, Carol Cumberland. Cumberland. I'm not going to thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, this is with great honor that I get this award, and the reason being is you guys see Jay on stage, and Jay is never ashy. Jay has a couple of tattoos. Jay has, has so much going on, and my lovely beta bitch, Emily Carly, is the reason why I love to be this to you. We, we also have, uh, met, you know, Metal Sir Dexter, who's not here, and for our stage manager, um, who is not here, Ashley. But the, the next person to receive an award, standing tall at five feet eight inches, weighing in that I would never say that out loud, the best director of collective practices I have ever seen. Let's turn up. Now we can turn up. Time to party. <laughs> Time to party.